Look at all of this. Holy crap. Yeah, I'm seeing Barbie, Barbie. The Toys R Us bags. She bought it and shoved it in this box. Oh, we might have something in here. Travis Club, 25 cigars. Okay, what do we got? Oh, here we go. There's a magazine to a pistol. We got a bunch of books. This one right here is has caught my eye. Wow. What's going on guys? It's Jason Thrift Trader coming back to you with another video. In today's video, we go through more mystery boxes from the QVC Hoarders storage unit. And let me tell you, it has been a wild ride. This storage unit has paid off time and time again. In today's mystery boxes, we find a collection of vintage new old stock Barbies that are worth a mint. If you haven't considered subscribing, go ahead, click that button. Make sure to click the bell so that you get notified when we post videos. The majority of you that are watching these videos are not subscribed. And that is the number one way you can support this channel without costing you a penny. So just smash that subscribe button and click that bell. Let's get right into the unboxing. Okay, so this says, nativity set and for those of you that don't know most nativity sets are not worth anything but some can be literally worth its weight in gold so let's just hope that we've got something that's really worth worth the time and effort in here really what i'm looking for is just really one piece i gotta pull one piece out and take a look to see says J Harper 74 so as of right now it looks like this was a handmade piece from the 70s this looks like it's going to be the the barn there's there's the barn let's see if all the pieces are J Harper 74 oh that's a great big camel yeah here, show it right here. JH74. Or... Yeah. J Harper. Yeah, J Harper. Yeah. This potentially, potentially some money. What I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to get this entire box unwrapped and show you guys what all there is. So the thing with this, all right, and it's 18 pieces. That's not including this, the barn, which the barn does not actually go with the set. I think they purchased it separate because what they did was they got the molds and J Harper made this from Holland molds uh, in 1974. So what that means is this set, it's an 18 piece set made from a Holland mold in the seventies, uh, blue and white, and didn't find exact ones, but we found multiple Holland mold sets that sold for roughly anywhere from a hundred to $150, just like this. And uh, so this is going to be a wonderful eBay item minus that unfortunately that is not going to go with but everything else will be sold in a set on eBay for a hundred to 150 bucks all right guys this box says Papa's room books etc so Lord knows what we're gonna find in here looks to me like it's just a major grab bag of all sorts of things let's take a look in here I see what looks to be a cigar box down there no telling so Let's just go through this little by little. This could be personal information. It's a lot of paperwork and stuff like that. So I'll have to go through this with a fine tooth comb. But I'm going to set this off to the side right now. USA. So this gentleman was a veteran. This is nice. Nice cast iron. Texas Star with a horseshoe. This is missing the mirror i think this was a mirror at some point i don't know how old it could be because it's got this kind of wing nut on it so i don't think it's going to be old here's a piggy this is uh catherine's collection <laughs> that's too funny in the basket here looks like we got all sorts of 
nails and goodies, Elmer's wood glue, oh good, that didn't shock me, <laughs> um, we've got some uh, acrylic paint in here as well, so just a bunch of random stuff, nothing too extravagant in there I don't think, oh here it is, here's the mirror to that thing, I don't think that's going to be worth much. Oh, we have a watch. This watch is Watch It brand. So, don't think that's worth much. This is an Aero 202 stapler. Got some change down here. Hey, we found some money today. So, I'll gather that up here in just a little bit. Okay, so that's a... Uh, one touch um, pin to check your your uh, blood sugar I think and I don't know we might have something in here Travis Club 25 cigars empty nice little cigar box though San Antonio Texas okay what do we got oh here we go there's a magazine to a pistol. These right here are worth money, guys. These old key fobs, key fobs are worth money. So don't discount those. There's a spoon. All right. Not seeing anything else in here that's worth anything, really. Now this is a bit set. Quick start zirconium nitride coating. That'll go in a nice tool lot. Let's take a look at this. What do we got here? I have no idea what in the world. Okay, so it's a radio TV. Hey, there we go. <laughs> I was looking at it the wrong way. That's pretty cool. Don't know if it's going to be worth anything, but it's neat. We've got a bunch of books. This one right here is has caught my eye. Wow. Okay. Um, I think that says Albert Hubbard. This is going to be old, y'all. This is going to be really, really old. I'm kind of... There it is. Yep. Albert Hubbard. This copy of the Memorial Edition in 14 volumes of Albert Hubbard's Little Journeys to the Homes of the Great has been specially prepared by the Roy Crofters in their shops which are in East Aurora, Erie County, New York, for Lillian D. Schallern. Looking for a date, 1916. Wow. Solar-powered. Solar-powered radio. Hmm. That's cool. That is pretty cool. I um, wonder how good it worked. It... Books and a lot of papers in here, guys. We're going to go through this, see if there's anything that we need to keep or, or return. Uh, but other than that, that's this box. All right, guys, and this box has got uh, what looks to be Barbies in it. This is a Bob Mackie Barbie, Queen of Hearts, Bob Mackie. And this is probably worth roughly about 50 bucks on eBay if I was to bet. So we'll be setting that aside. This box here looks like it's got a Marie Osmond doll in it and I'm opening it upside down there she is holy cow <laughs> looks uh looks brand new Megan and Marmalade by Bridget Duvall there she is looks new to me brand new brand spanking new other than it's been sitting and collecting dust. Yep. All right. What do we got? Yolanda's Picture Perfect Babies. There she is. One day. One day I'll be able to show you. She's upside down in the box, but she looks pretty new. <laughs> More dolls here, looks like. Sorry for shaking the camera.
covered their face up. And I think we got one more box, and I'd be willing to bet it's a doll. Let's look. Justin, will you take this box away? Yeah. Thank you, sir. Ashley, this is DM for Danbury Mint right here. So this is a Danbury Mint piece. And there she is. She's in there. Wow. That's everything we had in that box. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this box says Barbie dolls. So we're hoping we smash it out of the park with this one. What do you think, Justin? We're about to find out what goodies you got in the box. What goodies do they <laughs> lie in the mystery box lair? In the mystery doll box. <laughs> yes, sir. And we're going to just cut right to it. How about that? Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Wow. Well, first, <laughs> they weren't lying. Okay. Not at all. Here's a Happy Holidays Barbie doll. This is from 1996. Wow. Special edition. Awesome. All right. I think I'm going to... There we go. Now you can really see her. She's gorgeous. There's one. Is this old? B City Jan Hagara. No. Hong Kong. Don't think it's old. There's some tins. Anything in it? Uh, that says wafers, homemade ginger wafers. Um, made. Christmasy. This is made in England. Ooh. Nice. Designed by Dar. Don't know. Could be something. Here's a a bear. Oh, you got something in there. Something in that one. Uh oh. What is it? All the things to make you rich, but nothing oh, actually making you rich. I was hoping it was dollar bills. <laughs> that makes two of us hundred dollar bills oh yeah right <laughs> okay now look at this here we go this is barbie scarlet o'hara hollywood legends collection check her out gone with the wind scarlet o'hara wow that's pretty wow it looks like almost like she has dreads <laughs> yeah <laughs> this is an old barbie y'all she's old i don't know if it's barbie brand Kind of doubting it. I don't know. She's cute, though. And that's handmade. Look at all of this. Holy crap. Yeah, I'm seeing Barbie, Barbie. Toys R Us bags. She bought it and shoved it in this box. Look at this. See what oh. you got here. Benefit Ball Barbie. Uh, classic collection. There we go. There you go. Look at that. Wow. Wow. That is amazing. Benefit Bulb Barbie. Can't wait to see what these are worth. They might be. I'll have to look at them. Yeah, I'll have I, to bet look they, these I bet they're worth a I'll let you bit. guys know if we have any right, what have we here? major scores. There you go, David. Hallmark Special Edition Holiday Memories Barbie. There she is in all of her glory. <laughs> Almost reminds me of like Norman Rockwell. What's this? Happy Holidays. Bought at KB for $39.99. Special edition. This one's copyright 1993. Dang. 1993 Mattel. I was nine years old. I was eight. Here's Happy Holidays. Special edition Barbie. This one is copyright 1994. All right. This is a while ago. An unbagger. Oh, here we go. This is another Scarlet O'Hara. She paid, whoa, okay, yeah, $70. She paid $70 for this, guys. There she is. Pretty amazing. Yeah. Swimsuit Barbie. 35th anniversary. Original 1959 Barbie doll package special edition re re reproduction. Re 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 This is another Hallmark Victorian Elegance Barbie. <laughs> well, she's elegant. Yeah, and quite Victorian as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 oh. Original 1960 fashion and doll special edition reproduction solo in the spotlight. Hmm. 
Wow. Oh. That's nice. Very nice. And oh, oh. happy holidays, Barbie. Uh, this is a special edition from 1989, y'all. Ooh, I was five. I was four. <laughs> yep. From 1989, a little damage to the box on the back, but yeah, just a small amount. That's pretty incredible, if you ask me. Yeah, things old, Not as old as we are. Ooh, we got some other stuff in there. Yeah, too. we do, don't we? Uh, this is 1988. Oh, I was four. I was three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry for shaking the camera. <laughs> I kicked it. That's crazy. Nice. <laughs> You want to see what we got? I'll get this last one and yeah, let's then see this. what we got there. Yeah. Okay. okay. Here we go. Happy Holidays Special Edition Barbie. This one is from, uh, this one's going to be a little newer, 1992. What do we got there? Oh, oh. like some postcards and stuff. Ooh. Some old stuff here. St. Valentine's Greetings. That one's not going to be as old. That's a postcard. 1939. Uh, Turner Entertainment, That's Gone good. with the Wind. That's Scarlett O'Hara. She likes Scarlett O'Hara, huh? Yeah. What else we got? This Another one's one? copyright 1994. It's got like old dates on the back of it. Yeah. I think That's, it was made uh, in 494. Yeah. This is also Gone with the Wind. It's another Scarlett O'Hara. And here you go. This is neat looking. Uh, Scarlet's Eureka Springs. It says five bucks. That's pretty. That's probably Scarlet as well. No, I don't know who that is. Me neither. Don't have a clue. Okay. That's Scarlet O'Hara. Yeah. She's pretty. Oh, wow. That's a postcard? That's huge. Oh, yeah. Two of them here. More. A couple more. More of Scarlet. Yeah. Wow. Okay. And Here's another one. Man, that's nice. Yeah. She was a collector. Yeah. Scarlet O'Hara memorabilia. That's pretty cool. That's the whole box, guys. I'm going to look these Barbies up, and I'll let you know if we have anything of extraordinary value. I'm excited to see what they are. Okay, so we took a look at all of these Barbies, and this one right here is the winner. Special Edition 1988. She is worth $150, y'all. She's worth $150. That's the winner. This one right here is worth $50. 1989 and these two right here together are worth about 70 so we've got 270 dollars here and the remainder of these barbies together roughly 250 to 300 dollars in value altogether. together